getting people to buy and help us transition. When we run out of the red ones, we'll switch over to the yellows for those who come later. So not to worry, but if everyone can please take a red Lev Chalet. No, we are not using the yellow ones. We are, we are using the red Lev Chalet. Red. red. All right. Red. Everybody, let's open up to page four. One of the things that I love about these Sidurim is the poetry and some of the new ideas and invitations to spirit that are here. And on page four, the bottom of the page, I actually think it's the noise from outside. Okay. So if somebody can, if somebody by the door can help us keep those closed, maybe that would help. Thank you, Peter. Or just keep one closed and one open, maybe. We're on page four at the bottom on the left-hand side. Light a candle. Everyone should understand that within each of us a lamp glows. Each lamp is like none other. We must work to reveal our own light for all to see, making it a torch that can illumine the world. Let's turn to page 10, a psalm that maybe some of us know. It'll be new for those who are used to the yellow books, which does not include Yudid Nefesh, but others of us might know it from other moments of our Jewish lives. Page 10.
daven in Hebrew and poetry or just a deep breath and we'll pick up together on page 12, the red arrow on both the red transliteration or the Hebrew side of the page. <laughs> on page 14 at the red arrow or in the red transliteration. So our friends, there's a beautiful crowd that gathers, and we're um, now in, in two different Sidurim. So those of us who have the, the red one, the Lev Shalem, please turn to page 17. And the rest of us will just listen to this poem in the margin of the page called Sing. When we sing the words of a prayer, we are actually expressing ourselves in two languages simultaneously, one of words with limits and definitions, and one decidedly limitless with an immense power of its own. Alone, music can affect us emotionally, changing our happiness to introspection or sorrow to joy. It also affects us physically, actually raising or lowering our breath and heart rate. So it is only natural that music would be a necessary component, tool, tool to communicate with God, who addresses and moves us in ways both articulable and indefinable, and who is limited in the imagination of our minds 
but limitless as the object of the longing of our hearts. And we continue on page 20 with Romamu. Those of us who are in the yellow, see the yellow pap, uh, booklets, you don't have this, but the first word is Romamu, and that's the key one to this song sure. prayer. And Romamu really means elevate because when we find the courage to sing, when you find the courage to sing with your own voice, even if you think you don't have a good one, you just elevate everything, right? Think about Bob Dylan, not a good voice, right? Objectively. But think about Bob Dylan. That's all, that's what I always tell people. Romamu, page 20. Romamu Adonai Eloheinu Veishtachavu Veharkocho be the last one that we don't match up on our pages and in our books. Ana Bakoach, a mystical prayer from the Kabbalists inviting us to untie all that is bound and knotted up at the end of a week. Ana Ah! Uh -huh. 
pages as we greet our Shabbat bride. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Many moons ago, some beautiful babies were born to some beautiful young parents who yearned to become parents. And these parents' hearts were full of hopes and dreams for their own lives unfolding family they were creating, and the adventure and the miracle of becoming parents, of raising children. And then at the passage of time, full of hopes and dreams for those children. 17 and 18 years have gone by, and these children have grown up in so many ways. The graduating high school seniors whom we honor and bless tonight are living miracles, a testament to the holy stardust of wonder that it is to be human, to be a parent, to be a child, growing up and discovering yourself. Baruch ata bevoecha, baruch ata betzetecha. Blessed shall you be in your comings, blessed shall you be in your goings. This verse from Deuteronomy is our blessing of transition, and that is what we celebrate here tonight, the comings and the goings of our graduating seniors, and the opening up, the coming into a new world as your lives open up and your journeys bring you from home and hearth out into new adventures. 
It has been one of the great blessings of my year and a half, almost two years as your rabbi, to get to speak with each of the graduates who all seem to be sitting on this side, that one over here. <laughs> and I would like now to share a bit about each one of you. Um, I think what we'll do is call you up in turn. I just heard on the playground with the parents of the littler kids that this is perhaps different than it was done, but no one told me how it was done. So this is how we're going to do it today. Hopefully it resonates. It's mine. So I'm going to go in almost direct reverse alphabetical order. <laughs> I'll call you up. And then I'll call up the parents as well to offer blessings to all of you as a group. In addition to the six friends whom we celebrate and bless here tonight, I also want to congratulate Nina Kraus, Burton Alexander, Madeline Drucker, and my own daughter, Naomi Weinstock, who are not here with us tonight, but who are in this class too. All right, so reverse alphabetical order means that Liam is up first. Come on. Liam Robbins. So I'm told that apparently in the past you guys had to speak, but I'll do it for you. <laughs> I won't put anyone on the spot. Liam graduates Milburn High School and heads to GW, George Washington University, this fall as a Presidential Scholar and National Merit Scholarship Award winner. Something he is, something he is modest enough to do to, that, that they did not share it with me. <laughs> and it may be that a very proud papa calls this afternoon to make sure I knew that part of the story. A lifelong Boy Scout, Liam made Eagle Scout this year and his service project was replacing worn military flags of service members at the King Solomon Cemetery in Clifton, a project born of Liam's love of history. Liam is in the School History Club and plans on majoring in political science at GW. Liam works hard at school and as a lifeguard for five years now at Milburn Town Pool and the JCC. In fact, this weekend, again, your dad might have told you this, <laughs> Liam performed the greatest mitzvah of the entire Torah. A child went down the slide and didn't resurface or seem to be struggling. And it was Liam who was on duty as the lifeguard who performed the rescue and saved a life. <laughs> Liam has been given a full Jewish education, elementary and part of middle school at Golda Ock Academy, summers at Camp Ramah in the Berkshires, and how did we not know this, learning for four years now at the Prose Door Hebrew High School at JTS, going in every Sunday to continue their Jewish education. Your most recent final Hebrew project, a translation of the book of Samuel. Right, exactly. How did we not know this? <laughs> Liam, you and I only met over the phone so I could hear about you for this moment. And I am so full of hope for someone as smart, as upright, as committed as you are to your friends, to your studies, and to walking through this world doing the right thing and the good thing. Mazel tov. Reverse alphabetical order, Elon Reckham. <laughs> so as he comes up, I will say that like Liam, Elon is rather modest. He actually said to me, I don't feel comfortable saying good things about myself in front of everybody. I don't really want to. <laughs> and I said, what's that about? And he said, well, it's like modesty. And I think that modesty and that quiet and perhaps self-effacing way of being is part of you that is gentle and sweet and kind and good. Elon graduated last week from Gold Ock Academy and heads this fall to Syracuse University's Newhouse School, where he will study a major in TV, radio, and film with a focus on screenwriting. Elon shared with me that he's always loved creative writing, that those rare assignments of writing a short story or a poem were perhaps the only ones not left to the last minute, and he loves TV. So when I asked about your hopes and dreams, you said that maybe one day your hope and dream would be to write for television and even to write your own show. 
Ilan is a camper mom, the Berkshires camper, joining the staff there this summer. He sings, he plays guitar, he plays ultimate frisbee, he reads, he reads comics, and describes himself as a leftist on pretty much everything. <laughs> Radicalized, perhaps, during 2020, the COVID quarantine and all the entertainment that that provided. Super obsessed for a while and maybe minoring in political science. Ilan, I love how when you spoke, um, you and I spoke, you told me that when you make it big and need someone to play a rabbi in your show, you will call me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that in Mazal Tov. <laughs> Daniel Shapiro. She's not reverse alphabetical. I don't know. I'm going in whatever order I'm going in. I don't know. Hi, Daniel. Daniel is going to be a university professor in paleontology. That was the first thing he told me. With a minor in Judaic studies. His goal, when I asked you what this is really all about, is to bring more knowledge to the world and spread that to other people. He is, after all, the son of two educators. <laughs> but a beautiful guiding vision, Daniel. Daniel graduated last week from Golda Ock Academy and, and heads to UMass Amherst this fall as a geology major. His shorter term plans for the summer include finishing his Eagle Scout work. He and Liam are in the same troop, Rabbi Lisa and Mike's troop 118, right? Is that the right number? Um, and the project will be cleaning the tributary of the Rawway River that runs behind the Golda Ock School property and getting his driver's license. <laughs> Golda Ock seniors spend their final months in Israel. And Daniel, you shared with me how transformative that experience was for you, how you learned to take an outsider's perspective and to develop an opinion about something and more than and to more objectively measure other people's ideas to form more balanced arguments and opinions of your own. You shared how you were one of the people on the trip who really got it, got the, this is your words, religious bit of, I'm in the Holy Land, <laughs> and how that added depth to your already rich love of Torah, how moving forward you plan on being active in Hillel and going to Shul each week and having Jewish books in your dorm room, and maybe even take on Daf Yomi, a page a day of Talmud. So Daniel, if you take it on, so will I, so you let me know. <laughs> And when I asked you, as I did ask each of you, what you want, what you would want the congregation to know about you, Daniel said that I am never going to stop engaging with Judaism, with the Jewish community, and that after you've retired from your sex, success, successful academic career as a paleontologist, you would like to retire and then go to rabbinical school so that you can be quote, an 80-year-old man studying Torah all day. Can you hear us so, and may that be your God-given path, Mazel Tov. <laughs> all right, we're jumping to H. B.B. Hanselman. <laughs> B.B. <laughs> B.B graduates from Columbia at the top of his class. In fact, Bibi is the class valedictorian at Columbia. <laughs> and he moves here, from here, to Amherst College. So guys, Amherst. <laughs> Bibi has wide-ranging passions and interests. Bibi, you may major in math or physics or perhaps music. Bibi composes music. Nope, I skipped something. At Columbia, he ran the math team and is also an accomplished at viola and piano. Bibi composes music. Hold on, you gotta face this way so your parents can see you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Bibi composes music, acoustic music for classical instruments, but also dabbling in digital composition. At his music camp, he premiered a piano. Am I gonna get it right? Is this in the Quintet. Quintet. And another piece, a, qu a quintet for string. Uh, okay, the first one is a piano solo. A piano solo. So just for piano. And then another second original composition, a quintet for string quartet and piano. Yep. 
The conductor of the orchestra at Amherst has already reached out to BB for viola, and that is one of the things he is most excited about for his college experience, the orchestra, and finding a new chamber group to play with, as that has been such an important and joyful part of his high school experience. But in another wide-ranging corner of his wide-ranging interests, he develops video games, plays chess, enjoys reading Torah, and is looking forward to joining Hillel and nurturing at Amherst a sense of Jewish community. In fact, that's one of the things that came up, Bibi, as we talked, that normal sense of excitement for the new opportunities to grow and mature, and also the fear that anyone feels about joining a new world, about finding friends. And one thing you shared, Bibi, was that you are looking forward, in the mix of all of that, to working on your character in your next phase of life. But a beautiful commitment and focus and may that work on your character continue to lead you to expansive places of growth and beauty and joy. Mazel tov. And because I don't look to put twins with first names who happen to be in alphabetical order, in proximate direct order, Abby, where's Abby? Jacobs. <laughs> Abby graduates Columbia High School and heads to the Stephen Institutes of Technology, where she will study civil engineering. As with our, some of our other friends, Abby, you started our conversation by saying, honestly, I'm not the biggest person to put myself in front of a group of people. So if you want to say as little as possible, that would be great. <laughs> But your parents would be very disappointed if I didn't say a little bit more about the person who, because she doesn't like the spotlight, but does love to be with people and is in the mix, has found all sorts of ways to be in community and connected to people behind the scenes in really <laughs> integral ways. Abby is a photographer, in particular a sports photographer and in particular the photographer of the wrestling team and the Columbia High School Ultimate Frisbee team, which is why she won't be staying for dinner because Ultimate Frisbee heads to the state finals tonight. <laughs> so behind that camera, but in the mix, watching it all, recording it all, and bringing it to the world, which is also what you've done, Abby, in your years working at the YMCA since 2017 as a stage manager and assistant director in the kids' theater program, directing two shows a year, and then working in the summer at the Creative Theater Summer Camp. In fact, because we never know what one thing will lead to another, it was building the CIT project of building a new pergola, you know, uh, taking down a gazebo and putting up a pergola, as a service project at camp, a theater camp, that voila, she discovered how much fun construction and carpentry are and decided to apply for civil engineering as a career. Abby plays the violin and a bit of piano. She hikes, she fishes, she crochets. She's a, you told me you fish now, and as a big music fan. Jewishly, summer camp has been an important part of Abby's life. She grew up at Camp Galil in Pennsylvania part of the Habonim Dror Youth Movement, has gone for 10 years, and you described yourself as maybe not the most religious person, but that Jewish community and tikkun olam and a life of doing mitzvot is important and something you'll get involved with through Hillel on campus. You said that for you it's about acknowledging that there are times that people need help and that our role, your role, is stepping up to do the most you can for them. What a beautiful way to step into your new life building new friendships and structures. Mazel tov. Adam Hanselman. Adam heads from Columbia to Bucknell University. Where? After watching his parents run businesses and a lifetime of dreaming about being a businessman himself, he will put his entrepreneurial side into action and major in business. 
Perhaps that business will focus on something sports related, as Adam runs, hikes, bikes, plays soccer, but even more is a rabid soccer fan, Manchester United all the way. Also passionate for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Rangers, the Knicks, and undecided between Yankees and Mets. Did I leave other teams out? Nope. All right. <laughs> Adam likes to play chess, can get super competitive, even in the small things, is both a very social person in the mix with friends who are dear, and also somebody who is happy to be with people but also needs alone time, too. Adam, you described yourself as ambitious and also as valuing community, which is something we have seen here as Adam has served as a madrich at the Zeman School for five years and will be deeply missed. <laughs> deeply missed in these halls on Sunday mornings. When we spoke about your Jewish life, what it might look like as you leave the nest and explore on your own in college, you described a rich inner life connected to God and to prayer, how in the long run, you want to have that same kind of commitment to Jewish life that your parents have chosen and nurtured you in you, but that there's another layer too, that in times of stress or imbalance, Judaism keeps you in check. You share that you're someone who pauses to pray, whether from the Sidur or just from your own heart, here at Shul or Lech Tzach Derech, as you go about your day. And that this prayerful pause, you said, reminds you how small everyone is and that there is a greater force above. May you continue to sense the presence of God guiding you with all of your gifts and the Jewish community as a place of refuge and support as you continue to find the places to connect and grow on your own path and your own life's calling. Mazel tov. And now I want to invite all of you back up here with your parents so that we can offer some blessings. You know, when I sit with families for preparing their children for bar and bat mitzvah, I say to the parents on one level, come together in, or up here or whatever, um, I, I say that it's a life cycle moment that we think of as for the kids, but actually we come to know as parents, it's actually really about us. So come face your children, come face your children, because here's something that happens when our babies are babies, we get to make all kinds of eye contact and gooey faces, and then they grow up and they won't look us in the eyes anymore. So Look your eyes, your parents in the eyes. Yes, I'm going to make you look here. If you have the sea door, we're on page 75 as we offer up the blessing of the children. Let's all rise and join in blessing these parents with these children. And I do want you to stand, place your hands on their head or their shoulders if they've gotten too tall, and gaze at each other as we sing together. <laughs> May God bless and protect you. May God's countenance shine upon you and bestow kindness upon you. be lifted toward you and grant you peace. Let's sing together. Shalom, 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 that's the only word you need to know. Oh, my God.
blesses, offers a blessing that I offer to parents, to teens, and to all of us. May you see your world in your life. May you see your world in your life. And may your end be for the world to come and your hope for many generations. May your heart deliberate over understanding. May your mouth speak wisdoms, and may your tongue bring forth song. May your eyelids make you look straight before you. May your eyes be enlightened with the light of Torah, and may your face glow like the brightness of the sky. May your lips express knowledge, and your insides rejoice in uprightness. And may your steps hasten to hear the words of the Ancient of Days. May all that you gain from this room and this community carry you forth, and we say, Amen. Amen. Let's remain standing. You guys can be seated. Mazel tov. We're going to remain standing and turn to the Barhu for Mari. If you're in the yellow, then you're on page eight. And if you are in our Sidurim, you are on page 39A. Page 39A. Page 39A. Barhu et Adonai Hamevora Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Ve'alam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Ve'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Elohim Melech Alam You may be seated. Asher Be'varam Arani Barahim Ve'mavir Yahab Ve'mavir Laika Ve'mavir Yahab Ve'mavir Laika Ve'mavir Yahab
46 or in the yellow page 13 we'll sing this page together and then we'll grow quiet to whisper to ourselves and to God the words on the following pages of the silent Amidah
שכתוב בתולתך אדוני ינוף לעולם ועד cottage is on page 58 in our Sidurim, or on page 27 in the yellow Sidurim. And there's a beautiful piece here on the page, the blessing of memory. It is hard to sing of oneness when our world is not complete, when those who once brought wholeness to our life have gone, and nothing but memory can fill the emptiness their passing leaves behind. But memory can tell us only what we were, in company with those we loved. It cannot help us find what each of us must now become. Yet no one is really alone. Those who live no more echo still within our thoughts and words, and what they did is part of what we have become. We do best homage to our dead when we live our lives most fully, even in the shadow of our loss. Each life is a whole world, in each is the breath of the divine. In affirming God, we affirm the worth of each one whose life now ended brought us closer to the source of life in whose unity no one is alone and every life finds purpose. This week we commemorate with love the yard sites of Ellen May Abrams, Herbert Abd, Julia Applebaum, Gertrude Appleman, Stephen Keith August, Dorothy Barnett, Sheldon Harold Bausch, Alberta Gold Bausch, Irving Belson, Bertha Benjamin, Bruno Burke, Leo W. Bernstein, Saul Blumenau, Jack Blumenthal, Louis Buren, Nettie Chasnow, <coughs> Morris Kolner, Isaac Davidson, Tilly Denberg, Bernice Factor, Harry Fenning, Samuel Friedman, Bernard Gerstein, Regina Geyser, Isidore Sol Saul Gold, Bernice Gold, Stanley Goldblum, Gustav Goldstein, Henry Z. Goldstein, <coughs> Martin Goodman, Irene L. Gordon, Herbert Gussow, Naomi Hauser, Herbert Jacobs, Ira Khan, Adele Lee Kaplan, Andy Kerr, Joseph B. Klein, Fanny Lamchek, Anna Levine, Abe Lewis, Yetta Litvak, Ida Lobel, Louis B. London, Manette B. Meyer, Hyman Mavora, Jules J. Moskowitz, Jordan Elizabeth Nadler, Bertha Nichthauser, Barbara Ostrowitz, William Prokosimer, Rose Silberstein Raff, Morris Rebot, Rivka Rothman, Monique Rudin, Fanny Schechner, Clara Scotch, Francine Shapiro, Daniel Shapiro, Anna Shaw, David C. Hell, Benjamin Silberner, Moses Stern, Irving Stone, Abraham Strauss, George Straussberg, Pearl Straussberg, Sarah Lewis Weinberg, Michael M. Weiss, Paul P. Zakin, Morris Zimmetbaum. We also express our condolences, Richard, on the loss of your aunt who was laid to rest this morning. Let's recite these words which link our generations one to the next. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shmei raba v'alma divra kirute v'amlich machute v'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye d'cho beit Yisrael v'agala u'bizman kariv v'imru amen yehi shmei raba mevarach le'alam alamei amen yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit ba'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase. Vir Hadar, Vir Dalev, Vir Talal, Shmei de Kudusha, Leela, Min Kol, Vir Hata, Vishirata, Tushbahata, Venechamata, Da Amiran, Ve Alma, Ve Imru, Yehe Shlama Raba, Min Shamaya, Ve Chaim Alenu, Ve Alkol Israel, Ve Imru, Ose Shalom, Vim Romav, 
Huya se shalom, Aleinu, Bel Kol Yisrael, Ve'imru. Amen. I turn to our president to give announcements, and as she comes up, happy birthday to Richard. Yom Uledet Sameach, Yom Uledet Sameach, Yom Uledet Sameach, Yom Uledet Sameach. Happy birthday, Richard. The party's here. We're all here for you. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Rabbi Cantor, thank you for leading us in beautiful prayer. Thank you, Peter, for drumming and making this service so spirited. Rabbi, you described our, our graduates, um, and they are so impressive, and we are all wowed by all that you've done, and we can't wait to see what you continue to do. You're going to change the world, and we're, we're waiting. We're watching. And always know that you have a home here at Oheb Shalom. So as you go into your new world, we look forward to seeing you when you come back to us. So Mazal Tov to you, to your parents, to your grandparents. Mazal Tov to all of us. Great achievements. I'm just always so wowed when I hear the description of each and every student and all that they've done. It's just amazing. So just a few quick announcements. Um, I know uh, Michelle is here. We have our final event for Miriam Sisterhood, our celebration. That's on Thursday, June 8th. If you'd like to attend, it starts at 7.30. They should contact you, right, Michelle? If, they want. if you want food, contact Michelle. Um, we will be celebrating a, a year of success, and I think we will be celebrating incoming leadership, though I'm, I'm told I can't, I can't tell you, let out all the secrets yet. But I think you're all going to be really excited and happy. And I just want to mention that next Shabbat is Pride Shabbat. Jordan Aronson is here. Jordan leads our Diversity and Inclusion Committee. Friday night, we're going to have a Pride Shabbat service. We have a guest speaker, Brielle Winslow Majette. Is that, am I pronouncing it correctly? Um, so please be here at 6 p.m. And then on Sunday is the North New Jersey Pride Festival. We are proud sponsors. I know that Jordan will be there with other representatives of OHEB. You still have an opportunity to help at our booth and be there, so just sign up. But certainly, if you're free, join us um, and help represent OHEB Shalom. And uh, with that, I'm just going to say happy birthday again. Mazal tov to our graduates, and Shabbat Shalom. Don Olam is on page 211 in red and the last page in yellow. Don Olam, Hashem Alach, Beterem Kol, Yitzim Nira, Le'ein Asav, Echef Tzoko, Azai Melech, Shemo Nikra, Azai Melech, Shemo Nikra, Le'ein Asav,